In the first reading today, St. Paul tells us that if we walk according to the Spirit, we will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh because these two fight against one another. Now, if we ponder that for a minute, we can ask ourselves, which really is most important to me, the spirit or the flesh? Is my spiritual life, is my soul more important to me than my body? That should be a no-brainer but we live in a society that has made the body everything and the soul into nothing. Our society pays no attention to the soul, but the focus on the body is just unbelievable. And so we need to really ask ourselves that question, how much focus is on Brother Donkey and how much is actually on the soul. Do I prefer the prayer life or do I prefer the night life? Do I prefer being with God or do I prefer being with the things that are kind of opposite of God? Those are the kinds of ways that we can look at some of these things because that's the struggle we have to all deal with. Now we can look at people who are called to religious life and see what they do. They are putting their whole focus on God and therefore they're willing to give up everything. They give up all the clothing and they just put on a habit that they wear every day. They give up all the comforts and they live in a very austere kind of a way. They give up all the money. They live in simplicity and poverty. They give up all these things. Some of them recognize that there is a necessity for that in their life because they are so weak that without that community life to keep them on track, they would lose their souls, and they understand that. Others are drawn to it simply because they really want their focus to be the Lord. Either way, they're putting their focus on the soul. But for those who live in the world, for those who aren't called to religious life, this is a much more difficult task because you can't just give up everything, especially if you have a family. You have to provide for them. You have to have furniture for them. You have to have things to be able to take care of the needs of the home and so on. You can't just give it all away like somebody going into religious life. But you can live simplicity. And that's the thing all of us can really look at based again on our own state in life. Would you look at your life and say, it's simple. It's not ostentatious. It's not about impressing people. It's not about glorifying myself. It is ultimately about trying to strip myself of all those things that are going to lead me away from God. That will happen naturally if you take up the spiritual life. What will happen is as you grow in depth in the prayer life, you're just going to start shedding things because they're in the way, and you're going to recognize that they're in the way. Part of it is just a matter of time. If you're spending more time with prayer, you don't have time for some of these other things, and you find they just get in the way. They're cluttering up your life. They're not anything that are evil in and of themselves. They may even be something very good, but they aren't the best. God is. So if we're making God the priority, then we will even remove good things from our lives because we want what is the very best. We want our soul filled with God. We want our soul filled with grace. We want our soul filled with love of God and neighbor and not the things that are going to lead to a greater love of self. 
These are difficult things for us sometimes to look at. And it's not something that you really have to pay a lot of time and attention to trying to figure out. Just take up the prayer life, and God will take care of the rest of it. He will lead you. He will let you know when it's time to give things away. He will know, let you know when it's time to simplify. He will let you know when these things are getting in the way because you're going to notice what they're doing to your prayer life. So it really comes down to that question, is the spirit more important to me than the flesh? Is the spiritual life more important to me than the worldly life? That's the point we all have to look at. Now again, our Lord says, seek first the kingdom of God and his way of righteousness. That's for everybody. Everybody according to their state in life, each and every one of us is to be seeking first the kingdom of God and to be conforming ourselves to his way of righteousness. Is that what we're doing? Or are we seeking a different kingdom? That's the real question. Is God truly the priority? Is the prayer life, is union with God the priority? Is conforming myself to God in whose image and likeness I am made, and therefore who I am supposed to be like, is that the priority? If it is, then everything else will fall into proper order. You don't have to worry about it. If it's not, then we're going to be getting things mixed up. God will be an important part of our lives, but not the most important. We're not seeking first his kingdom, we're seeking something else, and we're kind of moving toward his kingdom too. We want to go to heaven, but sort of like St. Augustine, make me a saint, but not yet. You know, we, we don't want to push this. We don't want to, we don't want to be weird. We don't want to, we, we still need to fit in out there, you know, so, so we, we don't want to do too much here. Yeah. Remember Father Karapi, when he first started, thought that praying one Hail Mary was a little too much. Didn't take him long to realize that he needed a lot more than that. But that was pushing it initially. So all of us can look at where we're at and ask ourselves, am I really living the spiritual life as I should? Am I really putting the spirit in front of the flesh? Am I truly seeking first the kingdom of God and his way of righteousness?